Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Let's Play Max Payne 3. Wir sind bei Folge 9. Und ich bin Unknown Genius. Und wir sind jetzt mit dem Image Change durch und versuchen, dann auch endlich mal Fabiana vernünftig rauszuholen. Vielleicht klappt es vielleicht nicht. Wir werden sehen. Wir sind direkt am Anfang von Kapitel 7. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow. Like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. <laughs> Sagen, was man will, aber die Musik ist gut. I had no idea where the hell I was gonna go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas. But then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. Kann ich nicht verneinen. War eine doofe Idee. E aí, gringo? Get lost, kid. Eu me amarro nos estates. Você precisa de ajuda, senhor? Speak English? Aha, falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you've ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second, look at her. I know lots of girls, sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? <laughs> Easy. Jesus. This way, come on. At least I found myself a tour guide. No. Wo er einen hinbringt, weiß man jetzt auch nicht, ne? Schon sehr fragwürdig. The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long I've been stuck in between. Hidden in the dark. What was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself, grasping at some desperate delusion of control? Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I cared to admit. <laughs> I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a streetwalker in a monastery. <laughs> Wie man nur nicht darauf kommen könnte, dass das eventuell eine Fahrt ist. Glaub, die Brille hat er nicht mehr lange. Ich 
Valeu, mano. Bem-vindo à favela Nova Esperança. Agora não, fora daqui. All things considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle income ass kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. Fera Pont. First day off the sauce and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. If there was one thing I'd learned since I'd been here, it was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball. And for kids like these, was there one legal chance at a ticket out of here? This was for August Dawn. Desculpa, hola. Fala inglês. I'm a little lost. Perdido? Onde és tu? No lugar errado, rapá. I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não. Well, they weren't going to help me. And who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was going to find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. Hmm. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. <laughs> I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. Hey, are you lost? In more ways than I could possibly explain. I know you. At the disco with the gun. Yeah, you had hair back then and better clothes. Uh, Anders Dedling from Steel, North Dakota. Why on earth are you here? Well, I'm uh, looking for someone. What are you doing here? Oh, we, we came to help the cause. See, after I retired my wife, she said I had to do something. And well, you know, I always loved kids, so I got involved in Angels of the Hill. Oh, it's a great cause, and they're really great folk, and well, now we come down twice a year to help inoculate the children of the favelas. Yeah, oh, simply wonderful giving back. Whole family does it. In fact, my, my little girl's coming in a couple of days. Aren't you afraid? Ah, I was a cop for 25 years. And granted, steel ain't San Paolo, but, you know, I've seen things. And people are the same everywhere. Good, bad, and different. Listen, have you heard anything about a, a woman about 28, rich? She was kidnapped. I heard she was being held around here. No. All right, well, good luck. All right, you too. You look like you need it. I gotta get back at it. All right, I'll say a prayer for you. <laughs> Danke. <laughs> Another life lesson I didn't want. Zoom. Wollen wir doch mal hier weiter langsam die Straße entlang. Das wird eine sehr Laufende Folge. Looking establishment would have a phone so I could call Passos, either that or a gun, so I could shoot myself and save these kids the bother. Hey, the telephone, telephone, vai lá no fundo, ó. segue em frente. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges, and you're in some lonely skin joint in the middle of some poor slum, having just had every last cent robbed from you, and you call yourself a bodyguard, then you know you're a loser. Hey, Matt. I buy you a beer. Do I know you? I don't think so. Look, if you're gonna shoot me, you make it quick, I'm a little busy. <laughs> if I was going to shoot you, I wouldn't waste a beer. Wait, you won't. I'm trying to dry out a bit, so just a soda, please. Sure. Why don't you go sit down? Guaraná pra ele. Um choque pra mim. Bem gelado. Eh? 
interesting haircut, by the way. I meant to tell you that. <coughs> yeah, well. Wilson da Silva. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. You did a great job watching after Rodrigo Branco. Fuck you. You were set up. Bet your ass I was. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen this guy? In the young Serrano. Queen. Yep. He's a real sweetheart. Yeah, you sure put his gang out of business. But don't worry, those guys, they're a small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Neves. And this is his little buddy here. Milo Hegel. They work for this vigilante group. Crasha Preto. Yeah, I know him. Well, they're very popular with right-wing politicians. Like Victor Branco. Now, you see, many years ago, he helped clear some villages on a bit of land Rodrigo Branco wanted to develop. Rodrigo Branco? Yes, he did some very bad things. Anyway, have you ever seen this guy? Maybe at the stadium. I knew you were involved in that business. You know, I wanted to investigate that, but I got an order to blame it on some local street kids instead. Tell me, what happened there? Nothing, we simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange when this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from you and your boy Passos. That's right. We had to shoot our way out of there. <laughs> they let you go. <laughs> it's okay, it's a little weird right now. But I know that Victor Branco is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that the Ufe are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. And you know what's gonna happen? The moment is gonna come along when I put all these pieces together, and at that moment, someone is gonna come along and put a bullet in my head. Anyway, listen. I think you might want this. Thank you. I'll need it. And if it's Fabiana Branco you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. So why don't you just go get her? I don't know. I'm a cop. I mean, I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb, but if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Maybe you too, Max. You're in the jungle now. So it appears. If you survive the next hour, let's speak. You help me. And I'm gonna do what I can to help you. Good luck. I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just told me. What was true and what was just someone else's convenient bullshit. Then some less than friendly locals came in and found me in the wrong mood to party. No comprende. Leave me alone. Você tem alguma coisa para mim? Do you got something for me? For you? I'll tell you what I got. I got a gun, and if anybody thinks they're gonna take it from me, they'd be dead wrong. Okay. Na dann schießen wir uns doch mal eine ganz kleine Sekunde mit den Weg frei. So, wir sind noch im Kampf. Nein. Oh, wir haben auch keine Zeit für mehr. Okay. Oh. Ja. Gucken wir uns mal hier rum. Serrano, the man of the hour. Had De Silva left this there on purpose as some passive aggressive message to the CS from a cop who was apparently too scared to go near any real criminals. It was a strange power play. Definitiv eine oh, etwas andere Folge. Becoming too clear headed. Na komm, so. Hm. 
Na, komm, weg mit die Maschinenpistole und die AK. Ne, dann nur so. Was ist hier drin? Die abgesägte Schrotflinte, Waffenteil. Und... Hier drüben haben wir eine Menge Sachen. Definitiv eine andere Folge. Weniger Action, mehr Zensieren. Äh, hier haben wir nochmal Pain Keller. Die nehmen wir doch gleich mit. Äh, hier haben wir keine Pain Keller. It was Monday afternoon and I'd already been thrown out of a party, gone to a strip club and got into a bar fight. This latest midlife crisis was certainly ticking all the boxes. Ja. Ja, wo ist der The fireworks display was clearly in my honor, making sure everyone knew to roll out the red carpet for their surprise guest. Okay, an dieser Stelle beende ich dann leider schon die Folge. Nicht viel passiert, aber naja. Das äh, wird sich ja dann in der nächsten Folge ändern. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet trotzdem Spaß und wünsche euch einen schönen Tag noch. Äh, wenn ihr möchtet, hören wir uns beim nächsten Mal. Tschüss.